Hey everybody, thanks for checking us out again. We're back from our Sustainability Sunday. Uh, we've talked over the last few weeks about our on-site solar arrays, as well as our commitment to 100% renewable electricity, but also thought it would be important to talk about how much emphasis we put on energy efficiency and trying to reduce our overall electricity needs year over year. Because uh, frankly, what good is it if we get all of our power from renewables if we leave the lights on when we go home at the end of the day? So. All that's to say, you know, I mentioned a few weeks back, over the last few years, we have seen an overall 14% decrease in the electricity that we use to run the ski area. And that's despite the fact that we have more and more things going on here year over year. We've got more summer business than ever before. In those years where we've seen the reduction, we're now running the chairlift seven days a week, all year long. So despite these uh, incremental additions to our overall electricity usage, we are seeing an overall decrease in what we use. That reduction has mostly been attributed to some really innovative and cool projects that we've put in place here over the years. You know, it started with us with a basic lighting upgrade. We upgraded all of our T12 fluorescent bulbs to T8s, which use a significant less amount of electricity. Since then, we've incrementally been switching all of our lighting out and moving towards LEDs. There are very, very few non-LEDs still installed here at the ski area. And that switch to LEDs has shown us an overall decrease year over year of about 50,000 kilowatt hours per year, just from lighting. Heating our buildings is also a huge portion of that electricity need. And then we've found some good ways to address that. You know, as we've built new buildings and renovated some of the old ones over the years, we've often been installing new furnaces. Um, all of those HVAC units have been installed complete with HRVs or ERVs or energy recovery ventilation systems, which essentially helps us to sort of preheat some of this cold outdoor air that we're bringing into the buildings to then bring up to a comfortable temperature for you folks. We've also got some advanced building energy control systems in place in a few of our buildings, uh, particularly at the Black Mountain Lodge at Mid Mountain, where we installed controls in 2018. Uh, we've seen a 28% decrease in the electricity needed at that building since those controls went in. Another really cool project that we're lucky to have here at the mountain is a free air refrigeration economizer. Big words, but very simply, that just allows us to cool some of our walk-in coolers here in the Six Alley and the A-Frame restaurants behind me using natural cold outdoor air. As you can imagine, it's pretty cold here most of the time. We get about 200 plus days a year where the outdoor ambient temperature is actually as cold or colder than we want our walk-in coolers to be. So this free air system simply allows us to track that indoor and outdoor air temp. When it's cold enough, we simply cycle in that outdoor air into the cooler and have a cold place to keep all of our kegs in the Six Alley beer cooler behind me. That saves 75 to 90% of the electricity needed for a traditional refrigeration system. And that's through avoiding things like the condenser and evaporator motors, which are energy intensive, by simply using air that's already cold. And all of those projects, when you combine them with just better behavior, and the fact that we're constantly harping on our staff and guests to be good stewards, to use less, close doors behind them, sounds pretty simple, turn lights off when they're done with the, uh, with the space. And all that has led to that 14% reduction and our continued downward trend in energy needs. So that's a lot of talk about electricity. Very happy you guys stuck with us for the last handful of weeks. Uh, next week, we're gonna transition into talking about another arm of our sustainability program, which is how we hope to address some of our transportation emissions and how you can address them with us. So thanks a lot, we'll see you then.